everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel. Glad you are joining me today. What I want to show you is some books that I have picked up. If you remember a while back, I want to say probably now, it's been a couple of months, I showed you some books that I had stacked up on the floor over in front of one of my bookcases. And it was books that I had picked up at a local book sale that I had volunteered to work. Well, what I didn't remember is the very first day I had put brought some in here to my studio and had laid them on the table. And, of course, they got buried the way many things do. So I wanted to show you because I think these are pretty cool for us if we want to use them in junk journals. This first one, you can tell, is a little bit of a hot, dirty mess. But think about it. It's already colored that I don't have to dip it in coffee or tea. But what I want to show you as I talk, blah, 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 um, is that they're one-sided. So they will be great, and they're like substantial cardstock. Um, so these would be great for me just to go ahead and take the plastic ring binding off of them. And look how cute! This is so adorable to me. I'm not going to, you know, go through everything. But it's recipes and stuff on feeding um, birds. So this would be cool, I think, in like a forest journal or even a gardening journal. So this one for sure, if you can find this, put this on your to buy list. I think this is a great one. Now, this is just a little simple one. And again, it's um, one sided, so it would be a good tuck. And this is like little quotes from different people. Um, but to me, I don't know, I've always enjoyed doing journals that are filled with quotes. I've done it a couple of times. I've done artsy journals or I've done journals where I've got quotes tucked in the pockets. Um, this is a birthday journal. As you can see, the most I paid for this is 50 cents. What was this one? 75. Um, but this one has poems in it. I like to do poems. Um, I like it when I can cut out a page or tear out a page and the poem is complete on both sides. I don't really like those um, books where the poem goes on and on and on and on. That's kind of a pain for us junk journalers. But think about it. This side would have the flower and then this side is going to have three poems. So I think this is a pretty good little book as well. And, you know, this one they're um, kind of doing as a birthday present, which is fine. Excuse me. <coughs> and then this one, um, Journey of the Wind. This one I thought had great graphics in it. Um, I don't know what I'm assuming and it says that, um, but I don't know. So this one, I'll have to figure out a way to be a little bit more creative with it because I guess I would like this to be on the other side of this, which means I'm going to lose this. You know what I'm saying? So this one I'll have to be a little creative with. I can't copy it because it's still within um, copyright. Not sure what happened there. Um, but I thought this was a beautiful book. Um, and I guess I could always just rewrite this, uh, you know, maybe put some coffee stained paper on the back of it and, and retype that. That, that might be my plan. And that way I can cover up just one side and, and leave the other side. So anyway, that I thought was a pretty cool book. Green and Pleasant Land. Um, this is poetry, but look at the graphics. And again... I'd like this book also. Now, the pages are a little glossy. Yeah. Um, but I'd like this because, again, I could put that in a journal, put that in a journal, and have a poem on each page. Um, and then, of course, the, the picture would totally be on the back side. So I think this is pretty cool. And then... Um, I'm looking at my screen and it's kind of like momentarily freezing. So I hope my video is going to be okay. I, I, I don't know if I need to buy a new camera or what. Um, I'm assuming that it's all coming through. Um, this one I thought was pretty cool because 
you can take and like I could cut that out as um, something to um, stick down in a pocket again slice that um, and I just like the fact that it kind of gave a definition and then it has a simple little drawing of the flowers I mean that is pretty cool to me and again if this is not and in this case this one is right I think uh, yeah except for that goes with that um, I'd have to find a page where maybe it would be the same on both but remember you know you can always do coffee stained or stained paper on the back side and um, and and not worry about the graphics here is another whole book of poems and it looked to me like the poems were um, all on one page poems and little stories all on one page they fit so I could actually cut out these pages and have a story on both sides um, so this one I think is really cool and it's all about um, wildflowers and I think this is probably I was gonna say maybe all from Florida I mean I'm from Georgia but it's not I guess it's a collective of all the state garden clubs and then this one is about indoor plants and look I mean the pictures are great just great and again you could cut out a page and you not have to do anything with it on both sides to me this is another great little book to have so I hope I've given you a lot of ideas for some books to go shopping for so let's run through them again the pocket encyclopedia of indoor plants in color wildflower expressions the woman's day book of annuals and perennials Green and Pleasant Land, Journey of the Wind, A Birthday is Beautiful, Springs of Happiness, and My Recipes are for the Birds. So I hope you liked flipping through those books and kind of getting an idea what's in them. I know sometimes when you go to some of the cheapy book sites, they don't show you anything inside. You have to guess or you have to go searching farther to find them. So that's one reason why I like to do these um, and, and share them with you. So remember, I do put up a video every Tuesday evening, uh, a.m. Eastern Time. You can find me on Facebook in three places, my personal one, my group, and my page. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. And I have a small Etsy shop um, called Larkin Lane Creations. So come by, check me out. And let me hear from you. I'd like to chat with everybody and I do it the best I can. So again, I appreciate you coming and, and I'll see you down the road. Appreciate coming by. See ya.